Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar Session 2 Mass and Family Modelling Part 5 Further Massing Forms. Continuing on from the previous video, we were looking at creating sweeps and throwing a profile around that path to create this form here. Okay, let's look at rotate and how we can add parameters in there. Let's start a new conceptual mass and look at some rotates. I'm going to draw a line on my vertical plane. Let's start with quite a simple arc form. If I was to go to my south elevation and as with circles in the previous video we can show our center mark visible. We can actually align and lock to that point there. That allows us to parameterize from this radius point. We might also want to put a horizontal plane Cross, and then we can align to that. So that locks it both vertically and horizontally. Let's just pull that line up a little bit. Go back to our 3D view. Okay. So if I was to create a form out of those. I'm going to get some kind of bowl shape. If I go to edit the form, that radius could be parameterized by turning it into a real dimension, permanent dimension, going to the label, adding it. Let's just call it R for now. Okay, so this rounded form has got a parameter controlling it, so let's see whether that's going to work for us. 20. Okay, now you see I am losing the tops and the bottoms of it. Let's see what happens if I go quite large. Okay, so it's driving, it's driving the form to a certain extent. It's not particularly controllable. Okay, let's select and remove that form completely. Let's explore some other ways of doing this. If I was to select the vertical plane again, give myself a center of rotation. This time we could do something like didn't mean to snap to the bottom of that line so I'm going to pull it further on. We don't want to snap the ends of that line to the ends of that line because then that creates a single shape which you can't rotate. Okay, if we look at this from a south elevation we can now start creating some parameters between the central work plane and these lines. I'm just going to change my scale so you can see it. At the moment that's a dimension. Let's add a few dimensions in here. Make sure I'm selecting the work plane. So this could be a piece of machine steel for instance. Let's add a parameter there. 
let's call this R1 add our parameter R2 and add our parameter R3 ok let's make R this one equal R1 so those are always going to be tied together now we could also start controlling some of these forms here we have a reference plane here let's align to that lock that down by holding control I can drag a copy of that to there select off a copy of that to there select off and a copy of that that's it to there now of course I can align and lock these work planes to these faces and set up some parameters between these I could have an overall height I could have a parameter controlling that and that could potentially slide up and down let's have parameters to control that and then a parameter to control that. We'll call this extrusion 1 we'll call this extrusion 2 extrusion 2 is locked together there so I don't need to control that one, those two are locked OK so let's go into the parameter creation mode we've got radius 1, radius 2, radius 3 let's call this 1 x1 this one And this one X three. Okay, not forgetting overall height. Now, we can test whether some of these work at this point in here. And you see we've got a long list now, overall height. Let's see what happens if we start playing with this, 35. We're going to have to be quite careful here. 15, because we don't want to start overlapping them. We could set this up in many, many different ways, but they seem to be okay. Jump to our 3D view. We now have a rotation line and a form that goes around it. Let's create that form, like so. Okay, we could start controlling this with these parameters, overall height, let's make it 40 and we're going to see some changes here let's see, extrusion 1 let's make that 20 meters and you can see that we have a variety of things and confirmations and you can see that we have a variety 
of shapes and configurations. We can change some of these radiuses. Let's see. We have a fully adaptable shape. Okay, so that's another use of the rotate and adding parameters in. It's relatively confining in what you can do with it, but depending on the application, it could be quite a powerful thing that you could set up and put into a project. Okay, so please find the next video. Thank you.